Lately, I've been feeling the call to kind of give y'all a picture of the behind the scenes everyday life for me and my family. Have y'all seen, um, what's her name? She's super cute. Ashley Hetherington. She does these That Christian Girl videos, which I guess I'm a woman, but y'all get the idea. And just kind of show you a little bit of a picture of my life and how I live into the Lord and manage the stress and anxiety of life in the midst of it all. So motherhood, mess, Bible studies, all the things. Let's get going. I really struggle here with my content online because long term, I want to be an author and a teacher and yet I can spend all day talking about how to take notes in your Bible and that's not quite really truly my passion. My passion is the Word of God. But then I also don't want to be like a lifestyle influencer, but I also want to show you how to live into the Lord and what it practically looks like lived out in daily life. And so I've been really in my head a lot about the content that I make and how to make it, I think sometimes kind of over evaluating it. But at the same time, like, isn't that life? We're mothers, but we're also theologians. We're Sunday school teachers, but we're also just normal women. We're fathers, but we're also pastors. I mean, there's so many of us in this community that feel the tension in life. What is our identity if it's anything but Christians following the Lord? And so that's what I want to reflect here. Sometimes I'll make videos about, you know, my craft supplies and my scrapbooking. Other times it will be, hey, this is how to do a word study and verse map or crafty how I take my notes in my Bible and then other times it will be stuff more like this how to live into the Lord and how my mother and just do basic life because let's be real theology and Bible study isn't just the time that you spend with your Bible physically open in front of your face looking at the Greek and the Hebrew it's also lived out in your life and I would argue if it's not impacting the way you sweep the floor or clean the kitchen then is it really truly believed is it really truly affecting your life and so this is is all the things that I've been mulling over for the last month or so as I've been really reflective over the content I make and the woman I am projecting online because I don't take it lightly any level of influence. Being reflective and looking at the content that I make is it's like it's okay it's good to reflect over it and wrestle with it but I also just want to be real with and vulnerable with you guys that I'm also someone that struggles you know I don't want to be viewed as just a silly woman doing crafts all day long on the internet. I want you to see the theological significance. And I also don't want you guys to think that it's all just about the books. It also does affect real life and impact the way I play with my boys or clean the kitchen. So these are just some ramblings and some incomplete thoughts, but I believe they are significant still. And they play a role in like my sanctification process that is captured here online. I won't be the same woman in 20 years as I am today. And I do want to document those little pieces of the Lord growing me and strengthening me. So I guess that's all okay. But now that I've freshened up the kitchen and the house, I really want to sit down and look at my to-do lists and plan out this summer because I feel like we're already almost like halfway through it and I don't even know where it's gone. There's like a point that you reach. <laughs> There's a point your girl reaches. I am sitting here kind of mapping out what the next month holds and it feels like I'm having an active panic attack, which is how I always explain it to Joe. Like you're moving and you're functioning and you have a smile on your face and stuff, but also at the same time, you're just like completely overwhelmed. <sighs> I'm not even being dramatic. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm being like totally normal with you guys. Um, I'm forgetting something. I need to just stop and I need to spend some time in the word. I know this is a luxury to just stop in the middle of the day and be like, let's just gather in the word. But seriously, your girl needs that because I'm overwhelmed. What are we looking at? 
I'm thinking, yeah, let's go to the I Am's of John and let's just look at some of them to see all that Jesus is because all that Jesus is always satisfies all of our longings, anxieties, thirsts, etc. Ooh. Oh no, I just lost it. John 15, I'm the vine. So these are my notes. It's kind of crazy in um, John 15, but I'm just gonna read, I guess, probably the chapter and read my notes and just sit with the text for a little while. Put all my fears to rest. I bring to you my anxiety. Oh, I am forever blessed. Your passion is always chasing me. You are me. from his nap show them your hat oh you look so good said are mommy. we gonna go play so um, I can walk. mommy doesn't know where your stuffies are i don't know where elsa is or fiery we have a lot of stuffies uh -uh. i don't know where fiery would be maybe it's in daddy's car or my car so now that nap time is over i usually like you know, around this time in the afternoon, it's family time, we'll swim, or go to the gym, or do something like that. Mom? Yeah. Um, my, my little guy is in your car. You think it's in my car? Yeah, it is. Okay, you want to play with it? I'm going to get back. Elsa. I've been trying to really prioritize being present in the summer with my boys um, while they're home all day long and just having that intentional play time with them. But if I'm going to be honest with you guys, one thing that I feel like nobody told me before I became a mom is that I feel like a failure most days in motherhood. You know, in some ways you're never going to do enough and in other ways I think moms do too much. And striking that balance and being present with my boys but also letting them play on their own is something that I'm forever wrestling with. I don't think anybody has it perfectly figured out, but it's also something that's different in seasons. Some days I sit on the pool side and I just read, and y'all will see a reading vlog coming up of some good Christian living books I've been reading. And then other days I'm right there in the pool, wrestling, swimming, playing mermaids with them. But isn't that just the Christian life? <laughs> Whether you have kids or not, whether you're retired with grandkids, whether you're single, not married, and working a nine to five all day long, we all are seeking that balance, to strike that balance in our life. And it's easy for us to get works oriented, um, to measure up and be enough, but Jesus never asked that of us. It's rely on him hold tightly to the cross and point others' eyes to the cross. So in my motherly weakness, I constantly try to apologize and point their eyes towards Jesus. And that goes to the same in my marital weaknesses, in ways that I feel like I could be a better wife, in everything, I think. Mr. Handsome is cooking us dinner right now. <laughs> he has been master chef on his new grill. We try and eat as healthy as possible while also being like human and having a dessert here or there. And I think Christians tend to fall to like two extremes. We're either gluttonous, or we're like we don't care about our health and we're not watching what kind of nutrients we put in our body and how we're taking care of the body that the Lord has given us. And then there's the other extreme where it becomes like you're just so obsessive about your body and what it looks like and what you're putting in your body. That's like a control thing. And with someone with a really hard past that dealt with food limiting and all that kind of stuff, I'm pretty passionate about holding balance and giving myself room to be a human while also honoring the Lord of my body and everything that I eat. A big part of my life as a mom is sitting there and like ordering the groceries and you know, there's been so much online about bad food and processed food and all of that. And so 
Um, I want to show you guys something that I recently started. The Patreons, my supporters on Patreon have seen the vlogs of me setting this up, but I recently set up a garden and I have long-term vision of growing my own foods and eating these foods and all of that. Not necessarily like to be the cool like Instagram homesteader, but this is just something I think the Lord could really use to bless our family. Um, and it's something that we have this space in our life to do. So I finally, for the first time in my life, like kind of want to do it and the first round of planting has kind of failed all of my berries are doing great but the zucchinis and the melons and the beans aren't doing so well and you live and you learn i'm learning pretty quickly you can't trust everything you see on tiktok but the experience and the learning is worth it all dinner's ready okay <laughs> Another thing that I think really plays a role in this whole that Christian girl. <laughs> Another part of living in what I feel called to live as. And remember, God doesn't call the equipped. He equips the called, right? So it's like, I feel called. I feel the urge to do something. I feel like the Lord's leading me to do something. So I need to step up and follow and do it. Um, and not sit there and go, do I have enough time? Do I have enough energy? Can I do it perfectly? But just follow and be faithful, right? So another part of this whole following the Lord and this stuff is making time for my crafty passions. So the boys are playing before bed just in their room quietly and nicely. So I figured, you know, I might just have two minutes. Are they arguing? No. Okay, I might just have two minutes, but it's two minutes I can spend working on my latest sewing project. If you're in Patreon, you will see much more in the vlogs. I actually want to redo this whole sewing closet space and kind of make it a whole little space. But for now, I just want to get a couple minutes with my sewing machine. And it's just like so therapeutic. I genuinely was about to say with the Lord because it's just like, I'm talking to the Lord. I'm listening to worship music. It's just like that kind of time. So enough rambling. Let's sew. <laughs> of my sewing machine got thrown off so it's time to call it quits but I wanted to show you making some progress on a gardening apron this will be the bottom it's like little corn and peas I love it planted both of those this season and they both have basically failed I got it from where did I get this Joann's I think it's so hokey and dorky and that's why I think I like it I've always fallen for the cute little hokey stuff but it's definitely time to put the boys to bed I don't have my watch on, but it's late. As I put toothpaste on the toothbrushes, I think one of the biggest things I really wanna get better at is reading books before bed. We've been dropping the ball on that lately. And we used to do it all the time, but I don't know. So maybe tonight I can give an extra 2% and read a book or two. We did it last night and I was very proud of us, but we have to like you know, manage our time or else it just doesn't happen. Hey boys, come here, I'm gonna brush your teeth. Did you have fun playing Legos? I can work. <laughs> All right, friends, that's a picture of aiming to be that Christian girl and living intentionally every moment unto the Lord in every detail of my life. Let me know if I should make this like a diary series on the channel. Share in the comments what the Lord's teaching you and what you're wrestling through. And if you like this video, I think you'll really like this video as well. Make sure to click on it and watch it. I think you're really gonna love it. Bye guys.